Hi guys, I'm Sanya and welcome back to my channel or if you are new, welcome to my channel. So the first thing that I bought was foam sheets. The price in Amazon is 139 as you can see and I bought it at just Rs. 50 per pack. Subscribe to my channel if you want to know how I'm going to use this in my next few videos. Next are glitter foam sheets. I thought that would be needed so I just bought them. These are non-adhesive and the price on the pack is 150 but I bought them at just Rs. 80 per pack. Price on Amazon is somewhat around 229 per pack. These sheets can be used in explosion boxes or handmade cards or any kind of handmade gifts you are willing to make. Non-adhesive ones weren't available in brown color so I just thought I would just go with gumming and it costed me around a uh, hundred bucks for one pack and it is really very good. Next are these pearl stickers. I got them at Rs. 15 per packet and two pairs of scissors so the bigger one costed me rupees 40 and the smaller one was of rupees 20 only and to be honest the quality is really really very good it cuts perfect next popsicle sticks i got them at just rupees 30 and on amazon it is of more than 100 rupees The whole pack of this pearl sticker costed me just rupees 80. If you buy it from any other stationery store, it will be rupees 10 per mini packet. Next, we have glue sticks and glue gun. Glue sticks were of rupees 5 each, and the glue gun was of rupees 120. On Amazon, it is around 200 plus with 10 glue sticks. So these washi tapes costed me just rupees 40 and on Amazon it is somewhere around 100, 150. The tapes aren't that sticky so I guess I'll have to use glue if I am using it. So the basic needs are glues and chart papers. The glues were of the exact MRP and the chart papers were of rupees 6 or 12 somewhere around that which was the lowest there in college street so i just bought them i'll be linking the address down in the description box please check that out so that's all for the video i'll be using all these supplies in the next few videos so please stay updated